Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So I'm out at the glacier today and um, I didn't bring any water. I'm a little thirsty. As you can see, there's nothing around, nobody around. But I have a light screen. So I'm just gonna go over to this glacial river. Looking forward to it. Here's the river. It's uh, coming back from that glacier back there. Nick over there. And this is Beaver Pond Strip. This is my airplane over there. Here's the water. As you can tell, it's like really clear, anyways. I mean, you'd probably be fine just drinking it how it is. We got all these glaciers here. I'm gonna run off from it. I don't see any bears or anything, so just gonna have a drink. Alright, here goes nothing. When I move, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like kicking up there. So, maybe I'm gonna find a rock or a port back. I can't do this while filming. <laughs> Brain freeze, so cold. Oh. All right, I got my fill. That was good. Oh. Yeah, so I got some water. Um, there's so much exploring to do back here. There's miles of just like untouched crap, just like beautiful stuff everywhere you look. So. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Well, I hiked probably about 30 minutes. This is the Kinnick Glacier, the south side of it. So behind me is Lake George and the river. So the glacier connects to the rock. That's called the gorge. So that's always a fun place to fly. I posted a video of flying through the gorge. But I'm on this kind of a hill right now, so I'm gonna try to get down here and see how close this glacier I can get. I don't have a whole lot of time because it's about five o'clock. I have a sat satellite, uh, Spot X. Uh, I can send messages and stuff, but it's really slow. And I noticed that I sent Rachel a message letting her know I was okay, but I didn't say if I like wrecked or anything like that, so. There's like two other messages trying to send, but they take forever to send. So she's probably stressing out after she read that first one, like, oh no, do I need to call somebody to come get you? Or hopefully that's not the case. Once I find a way down this hill, I'll uh, update you again. So I made it around that little hillside that I was on. There was a lot of brush, so I couldn't go through it. I had to go like down this, the other side, which is like a rock face slip a couple of times coming down but save myself. Yeah definitely don't want to get hurt back here because if you fall hurt yourself can't fly back then you're kind of screwed. It's an ordeal to get someone to come out here and save you. This is amazing. You know and I, I know there's not been many people that have actually made it back to this side. This is this is pretty freaking sweet. Beautiful view. I have the place to myself. I wish I had like a, a tent with me and some lawn chairs. Wouldn't mind sipping some sweet tea right here. Made it back to the plane, back to the strip. It's not too bad, but um, there is that like mountainous hill right there that you kind of got to watch out for. Probably a good 500 feet. Runway's probably three or 400 feet. Here's a look at the runway um, and the hill behind it. Pretty big divots here. You gotta watch out for bigger rocks. You have to look out for things like that. Toss some of these bigger rocks to the side. 
Nobody wants to hit those. The gravel gets a bit loose at the end, but other than that, it's not too bad. You just kind of, you know, you gotta make sure you don't go off to the sides. I'm gonna take off now, so wish me luck. <laughs> 